So the Cayman Islands Further Education Centre, so far the results are very, very promising and I would say that for a number of our students it really does offer A, a second chance, but also it offers an ability to do more and go beyond what they did during their time either at John Gray High School, Clifton Hunter High School or Lehman Scott High School. It offers that year to be able to develop additional skills either in the technical and vocational side or an opportunity to resit certain exams that they may not have had in the first instance when they made the attempt in year 11. So uh, we've seen uh, in this graduating class alone a number of students that either passed the threshold, the academic threshold that was required, but also were able to bump up a level to become either into the high honours or honours category as a result of having the ability to have the year 12 to either, as I said, do the do those examinations again or go above and beyond and take additional examination courses. And I think with respect to SIFEX um, internship program, they have a very strong program with the community. A number of employers are on board and are very happy with um, the partnership that they have with SIFEX in that a lot of the students, and I think the satisfaction results show that 95% of the students surveyed uh, indicated that they were very happy with the experience of being able to actually participate in a work study program that SIFAC offers. And there's a number of courses that SIFAC have, have or offers in the area of technical and vocational studies. I mean, there's always talk about needing to do more, and I agree there's always an opportunity to improve. But I think it's important for the public to realize that as it stands right now, SIFAC offers hair and beauty and electricity. Uh, IT technician and, and health aid working along with the Health Services Authority and there's a number, I mean these aren't, this isn't an exhaustive list but there's a number of technical and vocational programs offered at SciFact currently and this year we look to expand that to introduce another program in the construction area and also uh, possibly sports and leisure which is uh, something that would be rele really relevant to the tourism industry as well. So I think from that perspective we are very happy with the results that we're seeing and the students seem to be having a good experience and employers are also um, very keen to participate and to stay involved and to help the, the, the centre to improve and to grow and to become um, more relevant to the community and bear, bear, therefore allow our students to be able to take advantage of the employment opportunities that exist.